man, the fight that we didn't think was going to happen. But we got a rematch going on over here, man. You know, they talked about intangibles, people pulling out belts on national TV, whipping chairs. You know, you got Kev in the in the in the NBA chat talking about how Luca should win MVP or just be in the conversation. It's a lot going on down in Dallas, man. You know, everything is happening outside of the Cowboys actually signing free agents, but we're talking basketball. So third time's a charm. You know, <laughs> you, you go to that barber shop, you say, Man, who in the first chair? And I don't want him. Hey, what's hey bro? You got somebody back there? You got somebody back there? Cause I ain't trying to get clipped, but we are gonna see if the if the Mavericks can clip them again. So Luka Doncic got to go up against Kawhi. Joe, who you got one in the series? Hey, speaking of barbershop, shop, right? I went to the barbershop shop with my sons. You know, not for me, obviously, but my sons, right? And then uh, the dude, this dude walked in and he was like, he went to a dude. He was like, you cutting? And then, you know, dude got nobody in his chair. That's a bad sign. You feel me, right? He's like, you cutting? He was like, yeah, 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 I'm cutting. And he was like, all right, uh, um, um, can you cut my son? He, the dude pointed out the, the pictures. <laughs> Which number you want? He said, oh, you pointed out the pictures? You kind of got me worried, man. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's not how you, you know what I mean? Nobody uses pictures, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, rookie. Yeah, me, me the number 17? He, 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 like, he literally pointed up. He said, which one you want? And he was like, you, you want, oh, you got me a little worried. My <laughs> job was funny. All right, but uh, <laughs> that one's funny. Mavs and Clippers, the trilogy. Woo! Listen, man. I picked the Clippers. Remember, y'all? I picked the Clippers early this year to win the West. I picked the Clippers, right? Do y'all know Luka averages 33-9 and 8 against this team? In the playoffs? Not the regular season in the playoffs. And we're talking 13 games, not just a series, not a four-game sweep, not five-game six. We're talking about third. That's a big sample size in the playoffs, all right? So Luka owns his team. <sighs> and the Clippers aren't fully healthy. Kawhi Leonard, man, he he hobbling, hobbling into, the, into the playoffs. Oh, he's ramping up for game one. Are you serious? Ramping up for game one? And I'm supposed to pick the Clippers? Man, I'm going with Luka and the Madison Six. Luka and six, right? If you take Kawhi and Luka away, the Clippers got a better team. But Luka is that good, in my opinion, right? Is that much better than the, the whole Clippers team that he's going to dominate them. This is the best team we've seen from Luka, right? Not only that, they maintain a three-point shooter. Not only that, they have a lot of threat on the floor at all times and in, in the uh, 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 um, a, a defensive center at all times with Lively and, uh, and, and Gafford. And they got PJ Washington added some size to that size, that front line. So, and on top of that, they got Kyrie another bucket getter. They never had that against this Clippers team. It was literally Luca a bust. I remember calling Jamie. I'm like, these dudes can't miss. Man, Luca going crazy on these dudes, right? I remember I used to be like, man, Luca ain't gonna do nothing. And man, Luca won me over literally this last time they played the Clippers. That's when I became. That's when I realized Luca is that guy. And Luca is much better, much smarter, playing much harder on defense. Right, this mass team's a top ten defense. It's the All Star break. They're playing better defensively, and I'm supposed to pick the Clippers. I'm going with the Mavs in six, and it may be five, but I'm gonna go six though. I'm gonna go six. Dave, wow, Dr. I'm shocked. I'm shocked you went with the Mavs because you you were definitely on the on the Clippers wave. Or you said that they were one of the teams that can win that can win the West. And I match up, man. I'm shocked. Like I say. Yo, did you also know that Kawhi averages 32 in the playoff series against the against the Mavericks? I know. So they pretty much even each other out. However, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kyrie is now on this team. I'm going with Uncle Drew. Mm. I'm going with the Mavericks in this series. Um, Kyrie is my favorite point guard in the league, period. Um but I also like what the Mavericks have been doing since the All-Star break. They've been winning games. And they've been winning games that they needed to. Remember, they were the eighth seed for a while, and they climbed all the way out and made it to the fifth seed. They could have made it to the fourth seed, but, you know, they decided to, to relax, to relax the guys in the last few games, and there you go. I mean, Kawhi, Kawhi has been the healthier he's been in, in a while. This is the first time he's played 65-plus games since he was with the Spurs. So... Even with all that, you know, Kawhi is now um, – he's the last person to be on, on Team USA, so he's going to, you know, go for a gold medal. But 
I think that's it for him. I, I don't I don't see him. I don't see them advancing in the first round against this Mavericks team. The Mavericks just played them very well. And like Joe said, Kawhi, Kyrie is going to be able to put up buckets with um, along with with Luca. And I don't what gives me caution with the Clippers is PG. What PG we going to get? Is he going to show up and put put up buckets when he when when they need him to? Or is he going to be playoff P? You know, the nickname he gave himself, the playoff P that 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 don't do that don't do much. So I'm I'm, I'm I don't I don't know what I'm going to get from him. And then like Kawhi's Kawhi's knee, you never know what's going to happen with his knee. So I'm going with the Mavericks. I think the Mavericks win this in 6. Man, that's crazy. You know, Kev in the comments saying Mavs in five. You know, I'm like a 65 percent. That's crazy. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Might even sweep. Yeah, let me let me not forget yeah, he, that. Quiet like, against what? If he might not be there. Uh, yeah, you know, playoff P podcast P. We don't know. We don't know who gonna show up. Show up, man. But we do know he's gonna show up on that podcast every week. Everybody talk about Michael, but ain't nobody talking about Paul George. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all know who I'm going with with this one, man. You know, you see the star back there. You see the color scheme. I said I was 65%. I'm going 70% Mavs fan, man. We got this. I don't know about no seven games. I, I see six just to be, you know, gentleman sweet. But not gentleman sweet. That's five. Uh, yeah, I'm going Mavs. Mavs and six. I ain't got too much else to say. You know, Luka going to show up. If they do lose... My prop is going to kill me, but I need the Mavs to win this one. So, Kyrie, show up. Daniel Gafford, it's your time, man. You know, anytime the Mavericks get a wizard in the playoffs, endless possibilities. j <laughs> Holding on to that. <laughs> hey, hey, 2011. Um, I don't know, man. Um, Kawhi is not healthy. And I think if Kawhi were healthy, you know what Kawhi? I mean, what yeah, what Kawhi? What PG? You know what Harden? You know, I, I obviously, it's obviously nobody thinks too much of Harden. Ain't none of y'all said his name. <laughs> Russ. Yeah, right. Russ and Harden. Um, I just I feel like if PG was out, and I don't wish injury on nobody, but I feel like if PG was out, it'd be an easier adjustment for mm-hmm. Harden to step into that second row and Russ to step into mm-hmm. that third. But with Kawhi being out, PG has to step into that first row. Or James Harden might be saying, oh, let me step into the first row. Like, it might not be a clear consensus that it's PG. Harden might try to come in average 25 and 10, 20, 28 and 12 or something like that. So I just think that if Kawhi were healthy and one of the other guys were hurt, then, then you know, I, I would feel comfortable may, possibly picking the Clippers. But with Kawhi out, and I know everybody say Ty Lue is a top coach in the league. Let's see how much of a coach you are mm. with Kawhi out and everybody else healthy. Let's see, Ty Lue, because you, you ain't did nothing on your resume for people to call you the best coach in the league. So thank I you. See it. I want to see it, Ty Lue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. The thank you was a little... Oh, he, he hasn't. I mean, let's, yeah. let's be real. If you watch he games... Gets, you know, he gets a lot of credit for yeah, wins. Not- but they don't no. give them much for when they lose. If you watch okay, I see you what know you're the X's and O's of the game, you will see the schemes and stuff. You'd be like, yeah, Ty Lue's a great coach. But if you look at his accolades, I know his team's be hurt okay. since he got the Clippers, I, I but he ain't did nothing right. outside of 2016. And you can make an argument and say, he ain't did no coaching job in 2016. LeBron and Kyrie took over. You can say that. So all I'm saying, go ahead, Joe. What you got to say? And J-Mo, yo, that was going to be on. Once she was done, my question was going to be like, if the Clippers lose in series, <laughs> what are we gonna do about Talu? And J Mo, you keep you, you said some key, but I, I I I disagree with that. You said um you look at the schemes. What schemes? This is the most isolation. This team play has the most isolation play in the whole in the whole NBA, bro. Most of the most of the offense is isolation. Most of the offense, it's not no actions going on. It's mostly give it to Kawhi in that mid post and that in the, on, on, on the quarter on the, on the free throw line. And he he does something. James Harden isolation. Jaquan George on the wing. So it's not a lot of now. Ty Lue with the intangibles, getting them guys. You know what I mean? A little stuff like that, I guess. But 
X's and O's. I'm not gonna dis- I'm not gonna discredit no coach. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not an NBA coach, but compared to guys like Spo, you know, I mean Ty Lu, if you lose a series, y'all had two close against Luca, and they team were nowhere near better than y'all's. <laughs> like nowhere near. And the one time the Mavs got the advantage, you get smacked. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, so all and I'm Kawhi saying is, they somebody, you are, he had a draw like 45 on 72 percent shooting. I'm gonna win that series. They was down 2 0 going to Dallas. You know what I mean? Last time they played. So, all I'm saying is, I want to see how great of a coach you are, Talu. I see Stephen A. I see Skip. I see a lot of people on TV talking about best coach in the league. They bring your name up. And you ain't did nothing to earn it. So I'm just saying, I know you're a great coach. But I, I, this series is gonna show me if Kawhi not playing, it's gonna show me, Tyler. But with that being said, I'm going with the Mavs, yo. I'm going with the Mavs. Luca is in his, he's entering his prime. I think. <laughs> I mean, I know it's like his fourth year. I think he's entering his prime. Uh, I, it's hard to think he would get better, right? Man, averages 35, 10, and 10. So I'm going with Luca, man, and the Mavs. And the, the, the players they picked up in the second half of the season, I'm I'm going with Luca, bro. But hold on, hold on. When you comparing Talu to a Spo, I can see why they will have that reaction because Spo does it with a bunch of a bunch of a band of brothers. I ain't gonna say a bunch of nobodies, they're a band of brothers. Cause when you come to Miami, you're gonna know your role and you're gonna play in the scheme. It's defense, grit, and our defense is our best offense in Miami. That's how they play. Physicality. When you talk about Talu, accolade wise, I agree with you on that one too, Jamo. But he is one of the best coaches because of that one feat. Like that's why they say it. When you down one three to one of the best teams in the NBA at that time, and you win that series, regardless of LeBron and Kyrie doing their thing, he still had to get them other players to know their role and step up. Like that's why they say it. Like, but it's all. I, I think He's another still, thing. I'm not I saying think, the best. He's, he can be talked about as one of the best coaches. For, what they, for, for, for me, it's it's the it's the reason why they uh, I had a lot of um, a defender for Spo because remember when LeBron was in Miami, they were saying that Spo was not a good coach because he had LeBron, and I said, well, look at what he's done after that. Okay. Remember, there was a even though we missed the playoffs in the second half of that season, we won 31 some games for us to be a force to hit 500. I think we didn't, and we had no superstar, we had no, we had injuries throughout the rest of that year, and we ended the year better than any team in the NBA. Now, we missed the playoffs, so I'm not saying that that was you know, that's you know, hooray, but that's something that no one else has ever been able to do. And now with Jimmy, they said that we, we weren't going to make it out of the first round, we, we wasn't going to make it to the finals. Jimmy made it a horrible decision to go to Miami and two of the four years he's been there. We've been in the, in, in the finals in three of the four years. We've been in the Eastern conference finals. That's why I said that Spo is, if not the best coach, one of the best coaches in the league. I can't say that about Ty Lue, Cause what has the Clippers done since he's gotten there? Yeah. People always say like injury and stuff. Hit, hit, hit my issue with everybody is like you said, he gets a lot of credit, but whenever they lose, he he gets none of the blame. None. It's always oh, it's an injury. Always someone yeah, else. You look at Never the Clippers know. had the best roster since Kawhi's got there in the West. Like you look at top to bottom, they always are stacked. They always got a starting five. They always got depth. Every every single year, it's not one year I look at the Clippers and be like, dang, they ain't got, they got one of the best rosters in the NBA. Even this year, look at their roster this year. Like it's crazy. And James Harden got there early this year, y'all. We can't say like. He just got there. He's been there. And Kawhi played over 65 games. Paul George, it all played games this year. So it's no, like, chemistry. It, should, it shouldn't be no chemistry issue. Man, they had, like, a 25-game stretch where they was looking crazy. Yep. They so, had the number one seed at one point in the West. So I'm, I'm, I still think Ty Lewis is a great coach, right? He's, a, he's one of the best coaches in the league. I'm For saying, sure. like, if they lose, we got to – we got we can't keep talking about PG. These guys are players, but – where does Ty Lue on this? Okay, hold him more accountable if they lose. Yeah, I yeah. Treat him like y'all treat know. Doc, man. Treat him okay. like y'all treat Doc. There we, okay, that's and why. They both, they both, that's, hey, look, that's why I see what you're hey, look, with it. Doc okay. has been in different situations, but they both living off one chip. That's all I'm saying. Facts. Mm-hmm. I mean, one chip is one chip was kind of like get destined to happen. The other one was kind of like we fighting against destiny. 
So I get what you're saying. They on the same bus, but for me, no, I, no, no. I get where y'all coming from about Salu, but y'all mm -hmm. know what's gonna happen if they lose this series. Because what's James Harden known for doing in the playoffs? They gonna blame it on the players, and that's why I think it's messed up. At he they got need, a team of players to outside be, of Kawhi. They that's need cool. to talk about. They need to talk about him too. I mean, they Tomo Embiid and James Harden are both known for not showing up. But who did the media blame? Doc. Doc have, Doc have a history of that. Though. I'm just saying. Doc got a history of it too. That's the no, thing. I'm talking about Ty Lue ain't got no history of folding like that. I know he ain't got no history. I'm just saying, like, like. I get what you're saying, Daniel. Regardless of the history. I, I, I get you saying you're saying like 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 when the Bucks lost, Boone Hosa got killed, right? Boone Hosa got killed. Like mm -hmm. coaches normally get crushed when they lose. Missoula get killed when they lose the Boston Celtics. They got a great uh, team. Nurse got killed with the Raptors when they when they you know when they was losing when they didn't make the playoffs, Nick Nurse got killed. So my whole thing is like Ty Lewis is like like I don't I never hear his name. I think mean, people give him the benefit of the doubt because of their injuries. They haven't hurt. Like you gotta do but this year is different. This year, like they they been healthy, and Kawhi is who Kawhi is. Just like we think about MB. MB is who MB is. I mean, we gotta just face it. Like the Bama gonna be hurt every playoffs. Like it is nah, what it is. Gonna happen. Kawhi the same way. Even when they won a the championship, Kawhi had knee issues. Remember, he was scoring and going down like with his knee. Like the Bama was hurt in the finals. So, and they won. So, but what I'm trying to tell you, I'm, I'm just trying to pre. I'm just trying to pre warn y'all what's gonna happen. Harden is known for tank shrinking in the playoffs. Playoff P is known for shrinking. Sometimes in the playoffs, Kawhi is known for being hurt. Look at all the built-in excuses are there. It is so again. It matter of fact, I don't even know why I'm doing this because we're gonna come on here and talk about it. We're gonna hold them accountable. So I don't gotta worry about what the mass media is gonna do. We good. But for all those who try who watch both us and the mass media, y'all know what they're gonna give. They're gonna give Tyloo the benefit of the doubt. So I see where y'all coming from, but I also see the other side of the coin. Mm -hmm. That's a good point to bring up though, Jamal. Yeah. He does need to. He does need to get held to held to the flame. Like, come on, bro. But again, it depends on how they lose too. For me, if they get swept, all of them need to be talked about. The whole Clippers team from the from the top all the way down. I know y'all trying to go to Compton with the new arena, but yeah, if y'all get swept by this Mavs team, some even needs if to be Kawhi said. hurt, bro, they got like, still got a like, legit team. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm that's saying. What I'm they saying. shouldn't get swept. That's what I'm it should be but, a series. And, and, and last thing, Jamo, I know you mentioned something. Um, my, my bad, y'all. Uh, the easy adjustment. See, to my opinion, like when Kawhi is not there, Paul George, that Clippers scene. See, with James Harden there, it's kind of hard to do this though. They were really good when Paul George was on the ball, like when he was playing the point point four position. Like when Kawhi got hurt, and they went to the Western Conference Finals. That's what Paul George role. Like he was a bar handler. He was a facilitator. He was averaging like like twenty eight and like twelve rebounds and like six assists. Like that Clippers team was really good, you know. But with Kawhi not being there, Paul George was still on the wing because of James Harden. It could still work out. But Tyloo, come on, man, let's get it. I mean, they they look how they ended the season. You know, what I mean, they ended the season terribly, y'all. Like last thing, then we can move on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Paul George, I always thought that Paul George and Kawhi them being on the team together, the offense has to run through Paul George. If you get what I'm saying, the offense has to run through Paul George because Kawhi can get to his spots and get his at any time he wants to. Mm -hmm. But I think similar to how how y'all do, Joe, offense run through Sabonis. Mm -hmm. Fox is going to do Fox regardless. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I I, I just think that that would be better for that Clippers team. But like we said, man, Kawhi out, they still got a great team. We want to see it. Yeah, get it. Get it. When show us something. That's about it. Now show us something about these IG chats. <laughs> <laughs> so man, we got a plethora 